Hi there guys, so this video is about Simon Rolfs, who's a current of the sporting director at Bayer Leverkusen. Now, he has been quoted today in basically saying that he is happy at Bayern. Bayer Leverkusen, not Bayern, getting mixed up music there. Because basically, he's been linked with Liverpool, you know, the whole Xabi Alonso going to Liverpool, like get the band back together at Liverpool, can they have the same success? I've seen these links before, but there was no quotes from anybody and I kind of just left it because I thought there's no way that Leverkusen would let the manager, the sporting director and in my next video potentially a player all go to the same club in the same window. I just I just can't see that happening. I don't think that's ever happened ever before. Not at the same time. So anyway, I just thought I'd touch on this to see if I could get your guys' perspective on this. Um, so yeah. It says here that Bayer Leverkusen director of football Simon Rolfs has insisted he will be remaining where he is this summer despite links with Liverpool. The director has been speaking to Kicker in Germany about a potential move to Liverpool or anywhere else as the two clubs appear set for business, obviously in regards to Xabi Alonso. It is set to be a busy few months at Anfield as Jurgen Klopp departs and will need to be replaced in the dugout, while George Schmatke will also need to be replaced in the boardroom. All eyes at the moment appear to be on Leverkusen with the manager, Xabi Alonso, the out overriding favourite to take charge as he continues to impress in Germany. There's also been links to Rolfs though, with the idea being that he could arrive as the new man in charge at Anfield, continuing the fine work he has been doing alongside Alonso in Leverkusen. It seems though he has no interest in such an undertaking and would instead prefer to stay where he is, insisting he signed a new deal at the club for a, new, for a reason and intends to honour that even if Liverpool do come calling to tempt him. He says here, the fact there's a lot of speculation about Bayern O4's protagonists due to our current success is part of the business. This is defo being translated from German. But that doesn't change my direction. It's not without reason that I only extended my contract in the autumn. I am absolutely happy in Leverkusen in this constellation. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's from the kicker guys in Germany. Now, this whole sporting director stuff, I don't know what where to look guys in all fairness. Um, it might be a name we've never heard of. You know, we first heard of Richard Hughes down at Bournemouth. That seems to have gone quiet. Then there was the team Steiton at West Ham, who basically came out and started saying he wanted to go to Liverpool. It'd be an honour for him to work at Liverpool. And then the week after that, his brother's been hired and his best mate's been hired to work at West Ham. So then I first started thinking, well, that's that off the table, isn't it? You know, Or is that him getting his replacement in? like we did with Julian Ward and Michael Edwards before he moved on to take the other job. Like, that might just mean me being, like, hopeful thinking there. Like, I don't know, I, I can't see that happening. Um, you don't hire your brother and your a friend to go to a club for then you just to leave that club straight away, do you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Um, I'd be surprised if he came to Liverpool and, you know, he seems to be doing a good job and everything, but, yeah. And then we've been linked with... The guy from AC Milan was on gardening leave, so he can basically start Liverpool today if he wanted to, do you know? Um, but other than that, guys, not many names. Like that. There was Paul Mitchell a few years ago, few, not years ago, a few months back at Monaco. And apparently, um, what's he called now? Jim Ratcliffe, who's taken over a percentage at Man United. He wanted to bring him over. Was he, was he at Monaco? Was he at Nice? I can't remember now. I think it, I'm thinking of Monaco. Anyway, it might have been Nice. I don't know. He wanted to bring him over to Man United, but he turned it down. So he's still out there, and he's quite well spoken of, you know, in them certain parts and stuff like that. So he might be someone that, you know, we get out of nowhere. But I do think we'll get a sporting director sorted out pretty sharpish. Like, what's the date we on? End of month, beginning of next month. You'd think there'd be some movement there. Um, probably look out for David Ornstein, Paul Joyce with some sort of announcement if it when it happens, if it happens uh, shortly. But yeah, 
if you guys have seen anything else in regards to sporting directors, let me know in the comments down below. Like, it seems to be very quiet there, which, again, alludes to the fact to me that Liverpool have got this sorted off already. They've got it signed off, ready to go. Um, and that's what I'm thinking of anyway. Maybe just getting the finer details pointed out. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd just read that out to you because I've seen a lot of people talking about it online that, you know, he's been linked in. He hasn't really been linked. He basically ruled himself out of the job, just so we're all clear on that. Right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you then.